Linda's pantry. Today we've got a really busy day, but in the middle of the day, I need to have lunch. And I decided that I was gonna show you and maybe do a little review for you because I just got a Nutribullet. It's like the magic bullet, only it's much stronger. It'll grind up the peels and pulp much better so it's not um, so textural challenged for me because the blender doesn't do that great a job. The magic bullet doesn't do that great a job. It's more for already liquid type products. So I'm gonna make myself a smoothie kind of thing for lunch and uh, it's gonna be super delicious. I'm gonna get a ton of fruit and vegetable in and I'll stay full and be able to sip on it all afternoon because I've got a canning project coming up. So the next video you see will probably be that canning project. So hopefully this inspires you to stay with me and see. So the uh, link of the day, I should say, down in the about section below would be go uh, check out my Facebook page and hit like over there. Check out the rest of the links I've left for you. And uh, let's get to doing this because it's so really guys, delicious. So guys, this is what it came with. It came with the power unit here, two different blade sets, one double, one single, uh, a large mixing cup here, as well as a uh, drinking to-go cup, which is nice, two smaller ones, which is very nice, The a drinking ring if you didn't want to do that. It also has max fill marks on it for you, so you don't overfill, which is always my problem. And um, Today I'm going to make a very healthy, healthy drink. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited. And I wanted to, uh, to tell you, I've got a serving of kale, and it looks like a lot, but kale shrinks down. And what happens in the blender or the other little bullet I have, this is so texturally hard to get the last bit of your smoothie or your drink down. And same with the oranges, it's so much pulp and fiber and apples. So we're going to see how this does because I'm, I'm super excited to have a kale, apple, cucumber, orange, blueberry, and beet smoothie for lunch. How many fruits and vegetables am I getting in? I mean, a serving of blueberries, a serving of apple, a serving of cucumber, a whole orange, a whole apple actually, a serving of kale, maybe even more, uh, and a serving of beets. And I'm gonna also get some calcium in with fat-free Greek yogurt, which is very exciting. So I think I'm going to try to um, get it done in this one here. I washed everything and dried it really well, so uh, that's all you have to do. So my fill mark on this is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my kale in. I may have this too full, and that's gonna be a learning curve. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all the kale in because we should be trying to get kale in all the time. And let's get some cucumber, that'll break down to water, and some blueberries, about a quarter cup of blueberry. Uh, an or half an orange, we'll try that to begin with. Half of an apple, and, yep. And we're gonna go ahead with some water. That will also help. I'm gonna put in about, that's a half a cup. And this is cold water. You could put ice in there, but let's put, oops, let's put at least Couple tablespoons of Greek yogurt. I'm trying to keep this as diet friendly for me. Um, the fat free helps, but I also have been I'm doing Weight Watchers, so uh, points value is going to be only the yogurt. And I'll have to put my bead in in a minute. So, well, there we go. Check that out. And I think I hit that max fill point. Let's see where it is. It's hard to see, but I'm excited. Let's see how this looks. Mm. It smells wonderful. It's a really dark, pretty color. And I'm just gonna get a spoon and taste it really quick. I'm hoping I can get some beet in there. Mm. Oh, that's really good. And the texture is I mean, it still has some in there, but not near what you have when it's in your blender. 
So I'm gonna grab some ice and we're gonna stick a small bead in there oh, as well. Now that so I've got right this back. all blended up, I poured it into the smaller glass so I can sip on it with a smoothie straw. What a difference. It really does have a much smoother texture to it. And I put a lot of, I mean, there's apple and orange that has pulp and the kale that always is a challenge. You can taste the beet and the blueberries. It's really good. Doesn't need any added sugar. And you saw how much yogurt I put in there, maybe three tablespoons. A cup of fat-free Greek yogurt, because it's high in protein, is three points. Um, with that, I'm going to count this smoothie as one. Fruit and vegetables are zero, unless you have like three bananas in a row. Then you're going to have to start counting points. But um, so I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting at least one, two, three, four, five fruits and vegetables right here in this glass. And it's delicious, it's healthy. They were all organic, and these are organic roasted beets that I pick up at Costco. They're already roasted. Um, everything is delicious. The oranges, all you have to do is peel them and you're good to go. So you can do this in many different varieties. It comes with a healthy foods cookbook or recipe book, I should say, um, for healing foods, uh, natural healing, sorry, not healthy, but they are healthy. Life boosting nutrient extraction recipes and a pocket nutritionalist. So Anyways, I feel like it's a winner winner. I'm not going to take it back. We're going to keep it and I'm going to try to drink at least, if not a large one, a small one every day, which is about what I've got in that glass. So if I make it large and it fits in here, I feel like I'm going to be getting what I need as far as nutrients and fruits and vegetables. So I hope this inspires you, you guys, to come back. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe. And as always, I can't wait to bring you through the next recipe and or maybe it's going to be a review like this one or maybe it'll be a canning project. So let's see what we do. Um, and as always, I can't wait to see you next time.